Hello, this is Christy. I have a situation with one project in Camtasia where a friend of mine recorded a video, but he has his microphone sticking out in the video and it's quite difficult to remove it because it's in the image and I can't crop it because it doesn't fit. Let's have a look how I can fix this in Camtasia without having to go to an external program to do it. So here we go. This is the project from Chris Menard, my friend. I edit his videos. And as you can see, in an attempt to get a better sound, he moved his microphone to the top and it, the microphone is actually showing in the frame, not, uh, you know, on the bottom or something. So it, it looks quite weird. And usually we keep Chris on the screen for the intro part and the outro of every video. And for the entire duration of the video, I keep him in the corner, bottom right corner. So he needs to be on the screen pretty much all the time. So I don't like having this microphone in here. So let me see. The problem is I can't crop this because look, if I crop this in Camtasia using the alt key, hold down the alt key and the border turns blue, I can pull the edges of the video to crop this out. And of course, I will remove the uh, green screen, but uh, still I can see a portion of this. And when he moves his hands around, he's, his hands are going to be cut off. So I guess if I go around, you know, in different portions, you can see his hands is being cut off. So that's not acceptable. What I can do, though, is using the media mat. So let me show you how I, I would fix this and how I actually fixed it in this video for this tutorial. The nice thing is that he doesn't really raise his hands up higher than the shoulders. And also this portion here is fixed in the video. This may not work for you if you have a even a, a green screen video like this. But if the something moves in it, you may have to move it. But that's still maybe achievable. So in today's video, let me show you how I can fix this. I usually remove the green screen. So let's do that first. I'm going to lock the screen um, because if I hide this, you can see the screen behind with the tutorial we're doing. I'm going to hide that just for the sake of having a clear image and turn on the video with Chris first. So the first thing I do is I go to visual effects and I use the remove a color effect on the video itself. Just drag it on top of the video and then choose the color to remove from here. I'm going to use the color picker to pick a color from the near his shoulder or so. And you can see it has a bit of a spill here, but I can use the tolerance to move it up to remove that uh, as much as I can. Let's say about here. That looks good. But of course, I can still see the microphone in the image. And if I turn on the screen again, you can see the microphone is right there. Even though I go back and move him down here, it's, it's still going to stick out like that. So I don't like to do that. So here we go. We go to annotations and I'm going to go to the annotation and turn on all of the annotations here. And I'm going to choose this circle one. You can use any other shape that fits you and then just put it on top here and resize it to cover that microphone. You can elongate it and maybe make it taller, maybe even have it go out of the screen like that. OK, so I'm covering the microphone completely with this shape like that. All right. And now go to visual effects. Very simple and use the media mat effect on this shape that I added. Just drag media mat on top of the shape right there and at first, it's going to just show the microphone because we need to invert this mask. So this is basically a mask. And with this shape selected, which you don't see anymore, but it's still selected right there. Go to the properties and turn on alpha invert. There you have it. And now you can't see that microphone. And if I move around for the entire duration, you can see it shows up again because my shape on the timeline is not long enough. So I have to extend this all the way to the end of the video right there. So that needs to be on the video at all times. So it does occupy a separate track. That's not a problem. I can actually select both the shape and Chris's video and group them. Control G like that. So now look, I'm going for the entire duration of my tutorial and I don't see that microphone there at all. So another thing that I noticed is Usually uh, after the introduction, we break for a little stinger music kind of thing, and then we come back on the screen. In order to do that, here when Chris says, let's dive in right now. Pivot tables, let's dive in right now. 
this is the portion where I break for the intro, right? So the usual way I break is using the shift key and dragging the playhead, which means it's going to make a cut and move everything to the side, which is a ripple cut, right? So I'm shift and drag like this. Apparently, there is a bug. And look, after the cut, sometimes it did it for me earlier. Sometimes the mask doesn't work anymore because it's in a group. If that happens to you, it doesn't happen right now, but it happened earlier when I did it and I could I could see the microphone again. If that happens to you, click on this second part of the group, ungroup it, control U and group it again. That That's all it took for me. It doesn't do it right now, but it did it earlier. So here we go. This is how I can fix this. The group there is Chris plus the mask in there and they behave like a single clip. So I hope this little tip helps. I mean, it helped me today because I was considering taking it out and putting it into Premiere and creating a mask and everything. And I thought, oh, I can actually do a mask in Camtasia. So there you go. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and see you next time.